everyone, Gadget Girl Kylie here, and welcome back to my Let's Play walkthrough of Sword Art Online Hollow Realization, continuing from where we left off. So, don't forget, guys, if you do want to support me and my channel and also get a copy of this game at the same time, then consider clicking on my affiliate links down below in the video description. They will take you to my partner's Play Asia, where you can either get a physical copy of this game or digital PSN point codes instantly and doing both of those things will provide me with a small commission which obviously greatly helps support the channel directly. Right so the plan is to head over to these blue cross swords and then we can hopefully get the item we need to get past the fog wall. Ah oh, they're not very high. Right. Anti-venom crystal. Well, these have crystals literally growing off their bodies, so if this isn't the correct monster, then I don't know what is. Let's try and kite some of them away, because I don't want to get ganked. Get ganked! Two of them's fine, because they're not very strong, actually. Take this. I'm going to take out the little one first just because it's going to be easier. I think Argo's actually fainted right now. I have some healing. Actually, it started chasing those other players. So that's quite funny. It's going to give us a second to heal. I can't decide who to go after. <laughs> They're kind of acting like bait right now. That's quite funny. Come on, lay into it, Argo. You can do it. Oh yes! Deal that damage though! Boom! And then there's a couple more over here, so let's just quickly heal. Oh, I forgot to put the experience boost on! God damn it! I'll stick it on now. I bet you would have gained a decent amount from that Crystal Scorpion as well. Knowledge acquired. Is this what we need? Oh! Yes! Anti Venom Crystal! Aw, oh, yeah. I can't even remember where that place is, so ho hopefully it's come up with a uh, exclamation mark on the map.
Right, um, let's just have a look at quests a second. Where are we again? Mist forest. Oh my god, okay. Scorpions. Oh, we've got to kill quite a few of these, actually. Five out of thirty. Let's see if it goes up to six. Yes, it does. We've got to kill thirty of them. Oh my god. Well, I'm not doing that on camera. <laughs> okay, uh, I think we can take this scorpion out if we're careful. Let's just kite it away from the other one. There we go. That's far away. Alright, come over here guys, try and lure it back this way because it's getting too close to those other ones. They just don't want to move, do they? Come on. Alright, get some healing on the go guys, make sure your health is okay. It's health is getting lower. We're doing well. Someone's died. Oh my god, Leaper has died. Argo's died as well. I don't think we're ready for this. We keep dying, so I think I'm gonna go. Come on, team. Lesson learned. Lesson learned. Is that because I've got enemies onto me? There we go. I should be able to teleport now. Still poisoned from those scorpions. Right, I might actually nip to the camp because I want to see if I can upgrade any of my gear while I'm here, may as well. And then we'll uh, go over to that event on the left hand side. Yeah, I got too cocky there. To be fair, those scorpions were level 24 and we're only like level 19, so I was being a bit too cocky. Um, lesson learned though. <laughs> Won't be doing that again. 
So I probably will have cut out some of this video, guys. You may have noticed an edit because uh, it went on for quite some time. Some of my team members died. I had to run away. The scorpion kept following me and it was just a mess. So yeah, I cut out a little bit of the video for that reason. Level 11, um, 88%, insufficient materials, so I need insectoid feeler. Do I? I don't know. I can upgrade the sword though, 56%. Let's see, yay, success, plus one, awesome. 50% failed. Success! I haven't even checked my armor in a while, actually. Let's have a look. Because I did pick up some new armor before. It's not as good. I want to see what it looks like, though. That's pretty nice. It's very similar to what I've worn previously near the start of the game. Made costumes, still the best. Okay, that'll do for enhancing equipment for now, so let's go ahead and uh, go over here to trigger the event. Here we go! Use that crystal! Find the anti-venom crystal and dispel the poison fog. Complete. Ah, yeah. So we still need to uh, stop the ritual, don't we? Locate the ceremony. Next on the agenda. Oh god, I hate these guys. Just gonna ignore them. The skeletons are the enemies that I hate the most in this game because their attacks are so awkward, unpredictable, they seem to break through sword skills really easily. And they are just overall a really irritating enemy. <laughs> I'm gonna kill these scorpions though since we need to kill like 30 of them. May as well as I go along. Awesome. <laughs> right. If there isn't like a named monster in here, I'll be surprised. Oh, okay. Out the other side, then? Am 
Right, where are we? We are in... Whatever that is. <laughs> I'm just going to return to town and cash some quests in and also see if we can pick up any new ones, guys. I've opened up uh, a few new ones now because we have just reached level 20 so that's why I'm able to accept as many as I can. It's a shame that I can't just like say yes to all of these. I have to do it individually. It's a bit of a ball ache. Might be able to cash some in actually. Right, I'm really not liking this team setup, so I'm going to change it. Oh, I've got a message from Asana. How are you? I know things have been busy, but I haven't gotten to see you lately. I want to be a part of all your adventures. You were literally just in my team. I moved you out, though. Um, Argo and Leafa in particular keep dying. Agil's fine, so I'm going to keep Agil. I'm going to put Yuki in my team, and maybe Philia. Actually, Philia was in there before, wasn't she? Mm. Silica, maybe? No, because Silica was in there. This is getting hard now, deciding who to put in my team, because Yuki's an attacker, Aegil's a tank, so I want someone who's different. I might just go with Shinon. For now. Right, and we'll check the quests the moment I get inside the area. Got another message, probably thanking me for doing that quest. I'd like to see you. You would all like to see me because I'm sexy. helped me out. I'd like to see you. Thanks for the help. Can we meet in town? It's a shame this takes so long to send a message though. I don't know why that is. Thank you for helping me. Can we meet in town? I suppose it's to make it look more authentic, like you're playing a proper online game. That a message isn't sent instantly, it takes some time to send. Okay, um, let's just check those quests.
Right, so, Brawny Buffalo, Holding Mantis, Death Bat, Dark Fungus, Twisted Tree. There's quite a lot in this area, actually. Right, so the event is in the bottom left, so I'm probably going to go to the top right first. Nice level up. Drain Walker. Are they better than what I got on or not? No. <laughs> Got an event over here with the cross swords. See what it is. See how high the enemies are in level first. I'm not going to make the same mistake again like I did with those scorpions. level 20 we can take these out quite easily actually Kill. Oh, that was awesome at the end there. Okay, there's a treasure chest over here somewhere. Was that a brawny? Oh, this is a domesticated buffalo. I'm still gonna kill it. Here's a brawny buffalo. Right, let's get this chest open. Grid armor. This is plus 41. Could this be better than my maid armor? But the maid armor does have a lot of stuff on it. No, still not as good, but let's have a look what it looks like. Pretty basic looking. No, thank you. Maid outfit it is. I am the Crimson Maid. I've embraced that title now. Two out of ten. Okay, let's keep on going because there is actually a blue chest up in this corner and I want to see what's inside. Alright, I'm going to cast experience again. I'm trying to get into the habit of casting it every once in a while so I don't forget. Okay, 
nearly completed that quest. Right, let's just double check what other quests I've got. So, Brawny Buffalo, Holding Mantis, and Death Bats, Dark Fungus. It's harmful fungus, harmful, forest, forest, harmful, dark, oh god, they're like level 25. Mm. I have to take them all out, you know. Just to clear the way. So they all don't gank me. Right, this could be a little bit dangerous. <laughs> I mean, these enemies are easier than those scorpions that were level 25, but still. Okay, yeah, there we go. They're definitely easier than the scorpions. There we go, treasure chest is open. Not sure it was worth it for all that though. <laughs> oh god. Um, I want to have a look and see how much skill points. I've got six. Shake it off, that's what I want to learn. Debuff cured, 50%. Right, so I need four more skill points to get that. I can't remember who it was in the comments section. I think it was Parasite telling me about this skill, but I definitely want to get that because 50% chance of getting rid of any status ailments is pretty darn good. And it only takes 60 seconds before you can recast it, so that's really useful. So I'm not spending money on uh, antidotes, which are really expensive. So yeah, I'm going for that next. Cast experience in a little while. Not yet, though. When we get back down here. If I see any buffaloes. Because <laughs> I still need to kill those buffaloes. There's loads of these funguses, though. Or fungi. Fungus. Whatever. Whatever the correct term is. Okay, the episode is actually over 30 minutes long. Right, so what I'll do then is I'll return to town just so it saves because I'm not sure if I'm going to record another episode after this, you see. And then I know that I just need to go the uh, other direction on the next episode.
Okay guys, well, I'm gonna go ahead and stop this episode here. Obviously on the next one we shall be continuing from where we left off. Hopefully we can uh, trigger the next part of the story, but we shall see. But anyway guys, don't forget to like, comment, favourite, share, and of course subscribe if you haven't done so already. All those things really do help me out as a YouTuber. As always, thank you for watching and take it easy guys.